I'm not late one. So. so we want to start tomorrow at daylight. Is yeah. that the easiest thing for us? Because we need to film, so. What's that? What's that? Yeah. Shut the light. Get behind the bench. You have so many different things to consider in Iraq, either banditry, theft, uh, abduction. Down! I've been to Iraq on, on several occasions myself, spent regular time since 2003 up to now, yeah, going in and out of the country. So that way you're keeping all the courses fresh. Act one, scene one, take two. <laughs> You get different reactions from all students, but some of them have, uh, have, have reacted quite uh, strongly to it. So obviously, the more real we can make it, then, uh, then the better it is for them. Put the guns down, please. Sure. Some people, yes, I have forgotten that they're actually in Hereford. Ambush. Extreme, but some of the countries that you go to, definitely within Iraq, you've got to consider this. We've had press, uh, business travellers, um, British companies working in the oil and gas sector people like that who are regular travellers to what could be described as hostile regions. Keep the hands in view, keep the engine running, and ideally you're looking to avoid night driving. Maybe check by, just ah. keep relaxed. Okay. Is that the way we're going? Okay, we should okay. open the... Just lower the window. So you are American intelligence, yes. no, We're not American no, intelligence, we're, we're from we're Canada. Canadian journalists. You can see, you can we're, see... We're, we're Canadian so citizens. You meet a lot of interesting people who have been to a lot of different places and uh, done a lot of th uh, good things. Yeah, it's, it's good to, to come up against them. Listen, you people, listen to me. This is military. You wear military clothing, this is military clothing. Who are you? But they have to be aware that, you know, for each decision they make, potentially uh, an, ac an action is an opposite reaction as well, to, uh, to paraphrase uh, Isaac Newton. If you're in a war zone or an ongoing conflict area, what you tend to do is uh, you take the least worst option as you see it, because no option is truly safe in that, uh, in that situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll get there yourself sometime. Mm -hmm.